Okay, so if you have a really large decal, um, make sure that you're measuring first to see if it'll fit on the pre-mask. So my decal is actually narrower than this roll, so I'm good. Uh, when you're doing larger decals, it's easier to roll out your pre-mask on the table first and then put your decal onto the pre-mask. So number one thing to make sure first is that it's nice and smooth. So if you have a big wrinkle or anything like that, you want to get that out first. So I'm just going to make it so that it's a little less wrinkly. And then you're going to fold your decal in half. And we're going to lay the middle down first and then both sides. So first, before I do that, I want to make sure I've rolled out enough pre-mask, which I have. So now I'm going to start in the middle, making sure that I'm good on the top and bottom. And then roll that way and then roll this way. And then when you flip it around, you shouldn't have any wrinkles underneath. So we'll cut it off. Flip it over and then we'll squeegee it. Make sure that the pre-mask is on there. Good. And as you can see, we don't have any wrinkles in our pre-mask at all. So once we squeegee it, it will be good to go. And make sure you cut, always cut off the excess uh, pre-mask around the decal. Otherwise, it's really hard for anybody to install this decal because this will stick on the vehicle and then you won't be able to move the decal around to where it's got to go on the vehicle or on the substrate that you're working on. So just make sure you cut that excess off. If you are giving this to a client, obviously you're going to be cutting it nice and straight, but we are installing this so we don't have to cut it with a ruler.